Alright guys, we're on week three now. I managed to build a tool that allows me to take my uh, Maya stuff and bring it in the Marmoset. So that's working pretty good. I'm just going to show you that real quick. Show you how that's going. I'll also show you the process I go through real quick because I think it will make more sense if I do it that way. So when I build these environments, I just concentrate on the geometry at first. And then I uh, set up some UVs. So strips of UVs, all nice and neat. Everything's all, uh, like, they have to be really straight, these UVs. Like almost, well, definitely precise. Uh, then that way they uh, don't get any wobbly lines and stuff like that. So once all that's all set up, uh, I just basically assign shaders with this tool. And it's really quick to do. Like I'll take the floor and I'm just going to assign a great framed uh, 3x2. Pop it on there. It's just waiting for it to load in the background. They're 4K textures, which I should reduce. I just haven't got around it yet. And then I'm going to grab one of these pieces on the side here. I'm just going to give that another one. And I generally just put shaders on and play with the UVs. Like, like for example, here, I don't like this. So I'll go in and open the UV editor grab those UVs and just move it around until it looks better. Like that looks looks like it's gonna work. Uh, same thing with this piece here. We got some strips all ready to go. I'm just gonna put on this new texture that I've made. I haven't actually checked this one out yet, so be interesting to see what it looks like. Uh, that yeah, works. Probably not the best one for a floor, but yeah, that'll, that'll be fine for now. So I, I just go through this process with everything until everything's all kind of set up the way that I want it. I'll uh, do one more piece here. And then you see the UVs on this one's a little bit more crazy because we got different things merged together. Um, but yeah, so that's all that piece. Maybe I'll do one more just so we've got a bit more geometry to look at in Marmoset. There we go. Alright, now the other thing that I've got on this tool is the lights. So now there's our geometry, everything's looking fine, our shaders are all set up. Now I'm, I'm kind of putting this in right now. It's not fully uh, functional, but it, I'll show you what i got so far. So I can just assign some lights within uh, Maya here, and they're just throwing on little emissive fongs. That's that's all this is really. And then this will uh, transfer over to Marmoset. So everything's all set up, we're all ready to go. Uh, next thing we need to do is clean the scene up a little bit. So I have these tools here where I can just set up a shot layout. Uh, ignore the camera thing right now, I'm just working on that. Uh, we have some groups that got created the ENV for the environment stuff and the light which are going to be used right now the character, vehicle and the, the prop stuff they'll be used further along as we move forward because there's obviously characters in it and there will be tanks and dropships and stuff like that so I'm excited to get those in they won't be in this episode but they'll be in other ones so that's what they're there for anyway um, then once that's all put in we go to shot cleanup and then all these horrible names that are just placeholder and now meaningful on just the pieces that we've set up. And these pieces here don't even get brought into Marmoset at all. They're just ignored, so I might as well uh, hide them for now. And then the next stage is just exporting. So I just go export all. And then I can go straight over to Marmoset. And then I have this other UI that I created here, this UI that's using the, the Python API that's really well implemented in Marmoset. It's so good, super fun to use. So I recommend that. And then all we do here is from Maya, there was an export of a Marmoset tool bag scene. It's just basically an empty scene. It just, that's all it is. And it just renames it. And then I load it from here to get going and then it makes the connection. So once that connection is made, I can just load in my uh, 
FBX and all of those shaders which get rewritten as marmoset shaders. And this time, like the spec and the, the metalness, the, the height map, everything gets put in. And also the color mask shader that I was uh, showing off in the last video, that gets all set up as well. And I'll change some colors in Maya in a minute and show you how it uh, carries over. So we're just waiting for the 4K textures to load in the memory right now. Shouldn't take too long. I didn't have many assigned. So I definitely need to reduce these textures or get a better PC. Um, come on. I'm going to start telling jokes in a minute if this doesn't hurry up. I'm not very good at telling jokes. <laughs> Here we go. Right. Here's the FBX. Uh, it's just the standard FBX import, and then all the materials that came with it. So the, here's those lights that were set up in Maya, and then they transferred over, and then we have the materials that are set up, just like we had before with the, the color mask stuff set up. And then all we need to do now is just use this auto setup button, and everything gets populated. Now I'll take a look at these uh, these lights real quick. Like I'm still working on this, but I really love the way that the, the geometry lights are working right now. Just in, in Marmoset. This isn't me, this is all Marmoset. I just I just love it. Uh, I'm gonna turn on GI for a second and just dim the sky. Just just to get an idea of how these geometry lights are working. So I'm gonna Definitely be going this route. I think I, I mean this is just a really basic kind of example But it just to me it looks great these light uh, reflections and bounces from the GI Exactly what I want and all this you know coming from these windows here So I'm going to definitely go that route. So I'm just gonna turn that up for a second now. I'm gonna go back into Maya and uh, Make a few changes to these shaders and just show you how I would uh, kind of go back and forth so let's jump back into Maya, and now I'm going to use these color variants. So for a real quick uh, change, I'm just going to grab these pieces here. I'm going to make them yellow. And what this is doing is it's assigning uh, um, the color mask, not like a, the whole yellow over the entire thing. You can see it's kind of masking out certain stuff, like the bolts aren't being affected by it. So, and this is what's going to happen in Marmoset as well. So if I grab this one, I'll just pick up blue. And this, maybe I'll go red. Why not? Uh, and then if we want to go back into to Marmoset from here, all I need to do is just do that shot cleanup thing. You'll see now the names have changed with a suffix of the actual color. And this updates in uh, Marmoset. I just need to re-export it. So if I just hit export all again. Go back into Marmoset. The original FBX comes through, which is like the original, uh, like this, the basic FBX uh, import that Marmoset does. Like it updates it, and then I just need to kind of load in those new shaders, those three new ones that are uh, created. We got the red, the yellow, and the blue one. They all use the same textures. It's just using the color mask. And overlaying kind of a preset theme of colors that I've set up, which I will change at some point, but for now it's working. Just wait for that to load. There they are. And then again, I just use the auto setup, and then all those colors are updated with the, with the theme. Oops. So that's where it's at right now. This tool is going to grow, like I said before. We're going to get the characters implemented hopefully next week. And the camera is something I really want to get working because they're going to be needed if I'm going to start animation. So hopefully we get at least maybe one shot started uh, by next week. I just want to figure out this whole character camera process. I'll definitely have some placeholder characters ready to go and rigged up. So yeah, I'm excited about that. I just really want to get animating. So hopefully these videos are still enjoyable. And I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.